Hey guys, welcome back to the Dev Diaries. We recently released the Early Access build, so we will explain more the Early Access content and our plans of the updates. Uh, I hope you are already registered in our forums and contribute to the discussions. Uh, we really like to know what your thoughts about the games and what are the impressions and so on. So, anyway, we are going to discuss the main features of the Shadows Heretic Kingdoms in this diary. Shadows itself, the Devourer, and yes, for sure, the progress of the Early Access. This time without any travelogue. So, Peter, what do you think would be the best to do right now? I think let's go check to our studio. Yes, that's a good idea. So here we are, back in our studio, and today we are going to check one of the most important features of the game, which is Shadow Realm. Jan, who is uh, the lead programmer of Shadows, and he also did the programming for Calc, will tell us more about it. Hi guys, and hi Peter. Uh, Shadows, yes, the Shadow Realm is a big, maybe even the biggest uh, feature in our game. It's uh, based on the original Dreamworld from the old Calc, but uh, currently we've improved it a lot. Uh, it will be a bigger part uh, in the gameplay as in the previous game. We hope uh, to improve it in all the parts of the gameplay. It will have more story, it will be more in, the, in combat, uh, more in features, or even the skills will be used in Shadows. So we hope that the game uh, will be much satisfier experience uh, based also on this feature of the game. Okay, so let's see how it looks like in the game. Let me give you an example, the Revenant, a being of the Shadow Realm who can possess soulless monsters like the undead. Even if you defeat uh, his undead puppets, they will reanimate and rise again and again until you defeat its master in the Shadow Realm. Even some of the puzzles uh, may contain hints in Dreamworld, so if you are stuck in the gameplay and cannot finish something, you can switch to Dreamworld and check for the solutions there. Uh, to don't make the game really easy, uh, for hardcore players we give the options to switch it off and then play it uh, like a real hardcore RPG player. The souls of your dead enemies can be collected in the Shadow Realm 2. Souls can be used to heal your character and uh, even for instant resurrection of your fallen heroes. To travel long distances the cenotaphs are used. Cenotaphs are places of power where the conduits of shadow energy concentrate. It works like a teleport, but only on long distances, and it can only by, be accessed by Shadow Walkers. But that's not uh, where the advantages of the Shadow Realm ends. You can escape from battles, or even perhaps jump straight into another one. More furious and uh, dangerous than the previous one you've escaped it from. Use it to challenge some powerful fools, who may be less powerful in the Shadow Realm. You have a better idea about Shadow Realm now. So let's talk about the Devourer, which is the main character of the Shadows. Devourer is an evil monster present in Shadows, something like more powerful Revenant. But normally, the Devourer can only control one soul. Player's Devourer, on the other hand, is special. His abilities allow him to control more than one puppet. This has, however, downsides. To control multiple souls, to remember their lives and to talk to each of them, is a strange experience. And so the player's devourer changes into something different, based on the player's decision throughout the game. Devourer can choose from melee, ranged and magical skill paths. He is the master of his selection and some of the skills may also affect his puppets. So player can create quite unique combinations of the skills and the puppets. We hope we can deliver also multiplayer sometimes in the future but it will also depend on your feedback and the support you get from me. We have launched Early Access to get your feedback, so if you like this game and have some super cool ideas which you think can improve the gameplay, please contribute to the forums. Early Access build features the first part of the game, which should be fully playable already. But please note that this is still an early version. The more feedback we get, the better game we can create for you, so we hope this will be a win-win situation. In the next diary, we are going to meet Chris Bateman from International Hobo, who is going to introduce us the story of Crew Shadows. We will also talk about the equipment and the crafting system, and we will visit another location in Heretic Kingdoms. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Comment it, like it, and share it. Bye!